Yo, what is going on, guys? This is Arbor 92 here. I'm here with who? Uh, Raleigh Younger. Raleigh, so what did you do at the Vegas Regional? Uh, got top eight, got sixth place. Um, I went X11 uh, playing Drytron. Wait, can you say that again? I was playing Drytron. Yo, you're crazy during this crazy format. I'm here with LC Yu Gi Oh! You already know for the deck profile. And you came in sixth place, and that's his uh, playmat. He doesn't want to take it out, just keep it um, souvenir. But, um, yo, you want to, um, before we get into it, you want to give uh, any shout outs? Uh, yeah, so I guess I'll first uh, start off with my uh, locals here in Vegas, People's Card Shop. Um, it's definitely made me a lot better being Best able to play shop. there. Yep, got me a lot more competitive. I do want to shout out my old locals back home in uh, South Dakota, Iowa area. Uh, Games King, also uh, Gameware is another one that's back there. Um, still talk Yu-Gi-Oh with them every day. And then, uh, yeah, just close friends of mine. I uh, got Ryan Gaskins here, uh, Anthony, and David as well on my token. So just, hey. uh, yeah, my friends just keep me competitive and... Yeah, I and you them. and you finally broke the curse since you told me you came in nine. Yep, I've gotten ninth before, Yo. and uh, yeah, so I finally got that top eight. Hey, let's go! All right, ready when you are, man. Yep, uh, just a sh just a quick uh, notice. Uh, this deck I put together last minute, and um, yeah, you're gonna see some weird ratios. Um, honestly, I just looked at a bunch of videos, saw what was working, and apparently whatever I put together worked today. So I will say I got a little lucky, but. Hey, sometimes better luck you'd yep. be good. <laughs> and it's a card game, like luck involves. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right, so I'll just start off with the good old usual. You know, three alpha, got to play three alpha. Three zeta, got to play three zeta. I know people sometimes go two, go mostly, but I did three gamma just because I love gamma. What it can do, make me go into links, overlay, guaranteed overlay when you resolve it. And I did the one delta. Um, I just wanted another name. And honestly, those draws that I got off delta were times. And uh, yeah, so I'm definitely always going to keep Delta in there as well. So yeah, that is it for Drytron names. Uh, for my fairy lineup, I just did one Diviner. Um, like honestly, I usually only use one anyway, so that's how it came out for me. So then I did uh, one Lancia and then also one Herald of the Orange Light. I didn't resolve this once today. I actually cited it out because whenever I did my combos, uh, I never had a point where I had another fairy in it to use. So, uh, I mean, I'd probably leave it in just for backup, but I never resolved it. Uh, Lancia, very clutch. I played a flu. Then for the rituals, the best card in the deck, Ben 10, keeps you going. Then, uh, actually, this might be the best card in the deck. Actually, um, I there was probably at least five, six games where I resolved it at least two, three times in a game. Took their monsters, linked it off. Also gained myself life points. Actually, I beat the guy behind the camera. Yeah, <laughs> we're not talking about yeah, that. So, I'm sorry. It's cool, cool. I, at least you talked. That's all that matters. Yeah, I, I, I resolved it, and luckily uh, it ended in draw phase, and he couldn't do much after that. But yep. Natasha is so clutch. Yep, yep. Um, cool. yeah. Um, yeah, the, the time procedure, so I couldn't do anything. So I, if I have main phase, 100%, he had Ash, I have cross out and call by, so I was repaired. But I gave him the win, so. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay, and then I'll go uh, Chaos Max. Uh, this is the wing condition of the deck. Uh, if I'm going first, this is what I'm going for. Then, uh, yep, the last guy. Um, there was a couple times where I literally tacked over in a whole board with him. Uh, he's also interruption during your opponent's turn. Shuffle, or yeah, banish two from your grave. Send a grave on their end. So, yep, that this was a great card too. Then uh, for hand traps, I just did three Ash and a three imperm i guess lancy has a hand trap as well but yeah these was why i went with uh when i first built the deck i did a more of a board breaker um i decided to do a little less board breakers and a little more hand traps so i do board breakers and hand traps now so yeah makes sense makes yeah sense. definitely helped out and then yep three cyber emergency i did two of the fafnir uh two nova and two of the ritual spell i know the ritual spell um, some people play one. Honestly, I really liked it at two, but I can definitely see why people play it at one. Um, so yeah, this is pretty standard here. Um, then Foolish Burial and Jack in the Hand. I actually uh, totally stole this idea from the YCS top uh, last week. I was looking at deck profiles last night. I was up till 4 a.m. and I saw that. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> Sometimes it's better than a cyber emergency because yeah. you can only activate one cyber emergency. So and that came in clutch. And then, um, I guess like I said, board breakers, but not exactly board breakers, but I just played two, ta uh, yep, two talent and two thrust. I guess like the only board breaker part of it is the amount of times that I searched for tactics off to thrust and then just 
declared uh, take your monster, the amount of times that that like baited out stuff or just got me game Makes was ridiculous. Sense. So I guess I don't even play really board break. It's just the talents. Well, you played three of each or two was perfectly fine. Um, honestly, I like two and two because uh, going first thrust is not great. I think I resolved thrust once on my first turn and I set an imperm. Makes like, sense. So uh, I was, yeah, like. I was considered maining Dark Ruler, but in the end, I just went with what we have here. Would you change any of your lists? Or uh, it's so hard to tell because I started looking around in my collection. I could not find Preparation of Rights. Oof. But You're crazy. But apparently, I didn't need it. But <laughs> at the end of the day, like it, it probably would have helped, I guess. But yeah, I could find it in my collection, and I just had to make my deck list there. So that I'd maybe put Prep somewhere in there just for more consistency. But <laughs> yeah. Damn, no Prep. You're crazy. <laughs> yep. So I will do a side deck. Uh, two Droll, two Effect Veiler, and two Bell. Bell was uh, mostly for, uh, the, I was worried about the gimmick puppet. Um, play and then it's also just good against random things like i've played tier at local against tier at locals and it's good against tier it just good against a lot of random things and uh the reason why i do 222 is mainly just to cover more area like just hope i draw it i know i'm less likely to but it works and then uh dark ruler no more i play that at three just because it, it dry trunk clears boards so easily like whether going into zeus or uh just yeah it just gets yep. it done or doing natasha the amount of times that i dark ruler and then they have three monsters and to resolve natasha three times take and link yep. up yeah it's it's crazy yep. um play two evenly uh i honestly i would i only play two evenly just because i have thrust and uh you can just search for it off of there uh play the one harpy's feather duster and then two cosmic because i I'm horrible against back row decks. <laughs> like, luckily I didn't play against any back row decks, but I just like to always have something in store for that. And I just put in a change of heart just because. Yeah, that guy's broken. Yeah, it you can search for it off a of thrust. Honestly, I got so lucky I didn't play against any cash today. Wow, so, no <laughs> cash? Yeah, Yo, so, why? Like I said, I, 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 I said a good, a good uh, beginning of the video that I got lucky. So I, yeah. I, I'll be the first to admit it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hey, at least it's, it's a miracle. Like, yeah. like gotta Don't happen. Ask her this regional, because I've been facing you either. <laughs> yep. So, extra deck. Uh, two, yeah, two Fafnir, pretty standard. I play the one um, Nightingale because uh, it can attack directly and then slab Zeus on top of it. Didn't actually have to do it at all today because it either got Book of Moon or it, like something happened to it. But it was, honestly, it baited out some things because they know what I'm trying to do. So actually, I, I would definitely keep her in. I might play that common bird that also um, is thing, but I didn't have it in my collection. I can't think of the name of it right now. Totem yeah. bird? Uh, no, it's not totem bird. Uh, but then uh, Divine Arsenal. Yep. Staples. Just, yep. Just in case I play two, just in case Cash banishes Ripping. it out. Yep, you have another one. <laughs> one Beatrice, um, it comes in clutch. Uh, usually my main combo, I'm usually going into it, sending something, whether it's a Drytron I haven't resolved yet, or a Ritual Monster that can come back from the grave. Um, <clears throat> this card is probably what makes the deck so good right now. Uh, it, it facilitates your Chaos Max, so during your draw phase, when this is out, you just tribute it, bring out the Chaos Max right away, tribute the Chaos Max, it can activate monster effects for the turn. So. Yeah, cannot complain. And then just the one Link Karibo, uh, one IP. I did Nightmare Phoenix, uh, Nightmare Unicorn. Uh, Boral Sword ended games. It's just, it's a great card to have. I didn't believe in it before, but I've seen how many Drytron players play it. So yeah, I put it in and it ended games for me a lot. And uh, my two, uh, yeah, my two uh, Diviner targets. I did uh, two of them. Uh, I actually resolved this only once today, but I resolved this like almost every game. <laughs> uh, yeah, so yeah, and that is that. So yeah, any questions or anything? Uh, no. What like... take out for the preparation of rice? That's a thing. Is uh, I was I, I don't know because uh, I would have to go back to the drawing board because uh, I haven't played this deck in quite a few months because I stopped playing it when the seals came out. And uh, on Thursday, I was like, well, there's a Vegas regional on Saturday. Let's play something different that I didn't play at the YCS. I played Sword Soul at the YCS. And uh, when I played with this on Thursday at Locals, uh, it did pretty well. And I was like, you know what? This is what I'm going to bring to the regional. And it, it definitely panned out. <laughs> Last minute, yeah. And it's a 40 cards build, correct? Yes, yep, 40 cards, yep. 
All right, sounds good. Thank you for the deck profile, Rally. Um, congrats on getting top uh, six place at yep. the regional. And your boy, Star War 92 and LC Yu Gi Oh! is signing out. Peace.